There are growing and interlocking crises of inequality, socioeconomic polarization, and social dislocation that are threatening communities across the globe. Youth voices are largely absent from scholarly and popular discourse on how they are faring in these precarious times. My research project discovered a simple, not novel, but important idea. Young people do not often feel heard. We adults think a great many things about young people, that they are self-absorbed or excluded, that they have untapped genius or are addicted to screens. What I have learned from my transnational ethnographic research is that young people do not feel like the group we imagine them to be. Disturbingly, my research has also illustrated the positive correlation between aging and the loss of hope. The older you get, the less hope you feel. But what if a radical hope lives in young people that could change the course of our global fate? And what if drama as a universal language and somatic experience that crosses geography and generation could inspire real action? Through my research, I've learned from young people in Taiwan, England, Greece, India, and Canada that hope is a relational practice of the present. Not merely an individual aspiration for the future, and that care given and received by young people is positively correlated with their academic engagement and success. The ensemble or collective process of theater making underscores how struggle and disagreement, difference and solidarity are valued skills in an increasingly fractured world. In response to the increased anxiety students develop with age, the collaborative engagement offered by the drama space provides important reassurances for youth. They grow in the confident belief that they will find and help provide agency within a caring community. The process of imagining community facilitated through drama is critical to fostering hope and care for the self and others. This understanding is powerfully corroborated by the survey we carried out across the sites. The drama space is appreciated for its ability to address certain deficits that young people may experience in other relationships. The drama room shores up hope. Across the globe, we witness the ways in which this very humble space and its collective pedagogies can awaken activism and robust forms of citizenship, can instigate alternative scripts, and can inspire young people to traverse the space between the classroom and the wider globalized world. Working in drama classrooms across the globe gave us our network of 17 researchers critical insight into the world as young people know it and also as they might wish it to be. Towards Youth, a play on radical hope was the verbatim play written by Andrew Kushner, the embedded playwright inside my research. And it was created entirely from our research data. We wanted to see if we could make people feel the research. It had a run at Crow's Theatre in Toronto last March, where an ensemble of nine adult professional actors brought vivid life to our experiences across the five countries over five years with 250 young people, embodying in the performance 35 of them along with 21 adults. The play was built from 345 hours of video footage of participant observation, 226 interviews with youth and adult participants, and the survey responses of 195 young people across the sites. In 165 interviews, we carried out post-performance with adult and youth theater goers who had seen the play. We came to a troubling conclusion. There is a powerful intergenerational gap in understanding how we have arrived where we are, and what must be done to live well together and preserve life on the planet. Young people who saw the play felt <coughs> validated by the struggles and dreams of other young people across the globe, while adult viewers felt both complicit in 
and discomforted by a perceived abdication of their responsibility for a shared future. Adult theater goers felt challenged, youth audience members felt recognized. Teachers, especially drama teachers who saw the show, felt inspired to use the creative tools at their disposal to engage their students in forms of creative and critical imagining. Going forward in our research, we are continuing our collaboration with our international sites, including a new collaborator in Bogota, Colombia. In the new study, we're positioning young people as artist citizens, using theater methodologically to study questions of socio-ecological justice. We're focusing on what alternative visions for the future could emerge through a global community of youth artists. How might creative digital and live artistic endeavors resonate in interdisciplinary and intergenerational ways to spur action in advancing environmental justice and social equity. We're living in an era where participation in civil society has itself been transformed by, the digital, by digital technology and online networks. Our new work will document through theater and digital storytelling methodologies how young people become leaders, <coughs> pedagogically equipped to address the many challenges they face. In an increasingly polarized world, where a renewed turn to care is very much in demand, and where practices of environmental global citizenship have yet to be imagined. Thank you.